Hi booktube! I'm here with the male booktuber tag. I was tagged by two people. I was tagged by JD Estrada and JD Archer. Uh, so I figured I'd better hop on the bandwagon and do this tag. Um, so yes. Question the first. Do you think there is a lack of male booktubers? If so, why? Yes. Uh, but to be honest, I've curated my subscription so much that personally I think I have a real close ratio of male to female booktubers that I actually watch. Um, there are obviously more females than males because that's the demographic on booktube. Um, but I, yeah, I think I, I subscribe to quite a few males and I, I really like it. Um, I think this is an interesting question um, because the original book community that I came from was probably like 90% um, male. Um, that was uh, the Reddit book community and 4chan in like the early to mid 2000s. I don't know what the culture is like now. Um, but um, so I, I had this preconception that the majority of people talking about books that I was interested in happened to be male when I joined booktube. Um, so I don't think it's a matter of not reading or not wanting to talk about reading. I think it has more to do with the format that our community takes. Um, I noticed that I do have a lot of male commentators on uh, some of my videos that, oh, that do not come from uh, content makers. So these are people who are not keen to put their face out there. And I think uh, the problem with a lot of these other communities that I had originally come from Reddit and 4chan and a large part of why I left them um, is that a lot of them are hugely insecure when it comes to socializing and when it comes to their appearance and uh, the reason I left was because they were getting really kind of aggressively upset about it um, and blaming uh, females and stuff and a lot of them became part of the incel um, community as well um, don't don't look up that reddit community to save yourself a lot of um, trouble <laughs> um, yeah so I think um, with this already established uh, book community dominated by males is is out there there are there are a large group of them but they just aren't coming over to booktube and and twitter and goodreads and, and stuff like that at least the what i see from those communities um yeah and I, I also think it has a lot to do with how the community appears you know on the most popular surface and initial level when you encounter booktube um, which is predominantly YA, as uh, Steve Donahue said. Um, and there's also some extreme views and mob mentality out there surrounding gender and sexuality and rape culture um, that can make it seem like a hostile place for males. Um, and people who come in with, you know, these different perspectives and views are kind of, can be treated quite nastily um, by a, a, a great horde of people of these immature readers um, and if this community of already kind of insecure male readers who are already kind of very almost anti anti-female um, encounter this as their first experience with booktube they they're not going to make that migration from the community that they already feel um, included in um, and to be honest I mean the predominant YA community um, the predominant YA community is what you first encounter when you encounter booktube um, so you know they aren't necessarily encouraged to to delve beyond um, those booktubers with more than 10,000 subscribers who more more likely have to be reading YA um, to find like the true gems of this community who who are who are wonderful people and who have open minds um, and are more mature in their reading and their opinions. <laughs> Anyways, uh, two, uh, would you like to see more male booktubers and why? Sure, why not? Um, as long as, you know, they make interesting content, read interesting books, have interesting opinions. Um, you know, I don't subscribe to people just because of their gender or their color or stuff like that. I, I want to watch content. I want to be entertained. Um, I want to be challenged. Um, so yeah, I talk more about that later, so I won't go too, on too much about this. Uh, three, how do you think we as a community can attract more males to booktube? I think word of mouth is probably the best way. Um, I'm getting, I always get comments from people um, about, you know, struggles to find non-YA booktubers. And I always link them to um, RJ Devilship's list of non-YA booktubers. I'll put a link to that down below, um, which is just what it sounds like. It's a list of people who... who talk about adult books um and uh 
I always tell people then to to look at you know their suggested videos after that and um, I'd say my subscription list is 99% adult readers there's adult readers who tend to read a, a bit of YA as well but it's all you know all over the place mostly adult readers um, and I think YA generally appeals to female readers um, and that there is a much much larger presence of males in the non YA side of booktube so I think once you get into um, the adult booktubers um, you'll encounter more more males and I think spreading that out that there are males out there there are there are males doing this that it will encourage more people to do it themselves um, yeah um and I think also the content that we produce attracts different genders as well. For example, I took, I looked at my most watched videos and the gender demographics on that. Uh, so for example, my tips for reading Ulysses has a 75% male um, viewership versus 25% female. Um, my Master Margarita review has 64.5% male and 35.5% female viewership. My House of Leaves discussion has 65% male viewership and 35% female viewership. My top 10 classic novels has 56.2% male viewership over 43.8% female viewership whereas like my video booktube sucks has 80% female views and 20% male views. So I think it's interesting to see that the different content, um, the different things that I'm talking about attracts different genders. Um, and this may be a controversial opinion and I know there's always exceptions but I do think that there really is a gender divide uh, when it comes to reading um, certain books and the majority of booktube tends to talk about genres and books that mostly appeal to female readers and I'm not saying that's negative in any way um, I'm just saying that's generally what happens if you have a large community of females um, they're gonna read books that appeal to females it's just what happens um, so I think booktubers probably have to diversify their reading if they want to attract more male viewers um yeah and that i think in turn would um relate to more male booktubers um number four do you think having more males on booktube will enhance the booktube experience i don't think it enhances it either way i think the best way to enhance the booktube experience is by having a variety of opinions and books um to be honest like i really don't subscribe to a lot of the um non-ya um bigger booktubers because they all seem to read the same thing and have the same opinions about things um and i don't want to watch you know five six videos about the same thing same opinion same personality i know i'm gonna get <laughs> gonna get comments about that but um I'd rather have variety and that's the experience I'd rather have um, so yeah I think variety of reading and opinions um, would enhance my experience number five is to check the gender divide of your viewers in your analytics and you know the instructions for that will be down below I did my lifetime views um, and it's pretty close split it's 55% female to 45% male which is quite interesting um, yeah, I, a lot of the videos I watched had a lot of larger uh, female audience than male audience, uh, but mine seems to be 55-45. Uh, number six, name a few of your favorite male booktubers. Where do I begin? Uh, of course, Steve Donahue. Everyone knows Steve Donahue. Uh, if you haven't yet, check out Conrad at Seven Days of Sea. I don't know how he doesn't have like 100,000 subscribers right now. He's awesome. Um, J.D. Estrada and J.D. Archer, who take me in this, they're awesome as well. Um, Travis Reads Books and Travis Love. There's a lot of similar names going on here. Um, the Book Chemist, um, he has a lot of a lot of subscribers, but in case you haven't heard of him, he's one of the few booktubers who I will watch every video of. Um, even reviews of books that I have absolutely zero interest in, um, I, I will watch them um, because he's just so, his opinions are so well-formed and intelligent um, that I just enjoy um, listening to him. Um, Toast Dragon Fantasy, he's really witty um, and needs more subscribers. Uh, then there's James Chatham, uh, Reading Rejects, Just One Reader, Final Blow Joe, Niku the Booklock, Michael Reads, Indie Insomniac, Knowledge Lost Steve Partridge. I could go on and on and on and on. Uh, but those are ones that I will watch at least 50% of the videos they put out. I don't watch every video that everyone puts out, but the, the, I I gravitate towards these um, these booktubers. So that's it. That's the male booktuber tag. I know I I rambled on a lot about there, but I, I it's not just 
a very simple thing. It's, I think it's very complicated. Um, and I like to expose the other community and the problems within that other community. And I hope I get comments from that community. It will be very interesting. Um, and let me know if it's changed. I've, I've been wary of it since about 2013. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's the male booktuber tag. <sighs> I'm done. <laughs>